Have a turning shop. Uh, Clean sheet on set pieces. We've had clean sheets all the other games as well. Every single game's been a clean play, but we never conceded on uh, on set pieces. But of course, walking away with uh, one of them donuts, it's uh, it's great. No, that's. Uh, I, I felt it was time then to uh, to put the Roman Alexis on, and of course it was a great hit by Marcus and Romelu does his job as a as a striker to be following in on the rebounds because if you do that you'll get five or six goals every season for for free really. Yeah, of course. There's. Uh, We've uh, played teams uh, on the lower uh, part of the of the table, but then again, these games need to be won. You need to play, you, you can't beat anyone else than the team you're playing. And uh, performance today, I thought it was really professional, very solid. Um, to, to come here with a, against a club like this with the fans they've got, I thought it was excellent uh, how the boys dealt with, especially second half. I thought first half. We kept them at bay, but then after about 15 minutes, we gave them two or three. Like we made some mistakes that the crowd got going again, and that it's always hard up here. How happy are you with Rashford's form at the moment? He's, he's, he seems to be a real talented man in the team. Oh yeah, when you know, I, I can talk about loads of individuals, but when you're a striker uh, like he is, scores such a great goal like today, calm, composed, just pass, passes it past the keeper, but then his free kicks. That was, of course, the start against Cardiff, and then he does it again. He's got a great hit. He must have been watching uh, Cristiano when he was practicing. <laughs> well, that'll be in the in the books, but it's got. It's nothing that I'm thinking of because I'm just thinking about the next game, and then because if you win four, you can win another four at this club, uh, and that's the challenge, and that's the standard that. We've we're known to. Uh, Gaffer used to challenge us on them, and uh, of course, when we won four, you can uh, go on to the next four and think about them. Well, you celebrated at the end in great style there. You must love the way you've bonded with the supporters. Yeah, I've had that ever since uh, the, my first second at this club. You know, I, I scored after six minutes, and since then they've been shouting my name, and it, it's it's one of them things that you you'll never ever forget. And. Uh, it's so humbling, but it's it's a fantastic experience, of course, to be uh, to hear uh, these songs. And it's you know it's big. It's important that you celebrate these wins along the way. You've got to enjoy the journey, not just the end product. But every single time you win a game, that's time to celebrate and pat yourself on the back. And then tomorrow morning we uh, we got to get up from bed again and look for the uh, for the next game. <laughs> of course I won't. I, I don't want to. That's uh, it's such a great, uh, great bunch of uh, players. Fantastic atmosphere. But it's the next game. It's the next game. It's the next game. And I'm I'm doing my job as long as I'm here. How important were the fans tonight? Because they were, you obviously said about Newcastle having a great atmosphere. Yeah. They they were superb throughout the game, weren't they? Yeah. You know. You know. The team talk today was about game management and part of the game management is to keep the crowd quiet and I thought the first 10 12 minutes we did really well kept them at bay but then we made two one or two mistakes that got their crowd going and suddenly you're under pressure Atsu down the left hand side a couple of times uh, Phil made a great block when he got back uh, in and tackled again but those are the moments uh, that you don't want to give a crowd and a club like this but so um, I thought the lads really got into the game again, and our fans, they are. I've said it so many times, they are the best in the world. How impressed have you been with Marcus playing through the middle Tough test, yeah. He gets kicked and he gets tackled. He wins, goes for headers, he wins, he challenges, he runs. He's, he's going to be a top, top number nine, definitely. So. But then again, we've got Rome, so sometimes he'll play on the right, sometimes on the left, sometimes through the middle. He'll get enough games. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.